So we believe that our vision is the same as what God's vision is for downtown Windsor that he wrote about through the prophet uh, Zechariah uh, centuries ago. And when God moves back into a neighborhood, it becomes a good place to grow up and a good place to grow old. And he says in Zechariah 8 that old men and women sit on their porches and spin their tails and children play road hockey in the streets. And that's our vision that God invites us to participate in seeing that vision realized, participate with him and seeing that happen. And so the collaborative's mission is to renew the city through neighborhood community. And our dream is that in every single one of the 30 or so neighborhoods, there's a solid presence of people working together to make their streets a good place to grow up and a good place to grow old. And so our strategy is to see a presence in every one of those neighborhoods working together in doing activities that bring strangers together to make friends of them and hopefully ultimately fellow followers of Jesus. And so we do that through things like our community gardens and we have four of them now in the downtown. And they bring people out, provide them good food, but really an opportunity to get to know their neighbors. We do it through activities like our breakfast club at the local elementary school, providing children an opportunity to start the day in a healthy way and to be able to learn and grow and mature. It also gives us a chance to integrate and get to know the children and the families of those who are our neighbors and how we can care and love for our neighbors. The second part is nurturing a faith community, a community that puts into practice the disciplines that help us to be refreshed and continue in the long haul this vision of renewing our city. So we meet every Sunday morning our leaders to encourage one another, to review the week that was, to celebrate and plan for the week that will be, to encourage each other through our stories of what God's doing in our neighborhoods and to pray and care for each other. And then we put into place the disciplines, the daily practices that are required to know the voice of Jesus, to enjoy the presence of the Trinity, and to trust and follow through when God calls us into our neighborhoods. The third is abundance. If we could imagine that in our neighborhoods are all the gifts and the skills and the leaders required to make good things happen in our neighborhoods. And so our community developer uh, works at nurturing leadership, identifying what the gifts and the dreams are of our neighborhoods, bringing people together to see those realized. And so we see that happen with our sports initiatives, with our neighborhood action teams, and with the activities we do in our neighborhoods that bring people together and make our neighborhoods a good place to grow up and a good place to grow old.